This record right here, this particular record that I'm about to do, I played it for my wife, and my wife, she was like hating on me, like, no, oh, that's weak. That's, <laughs> yeah, whatever. And then like a week went by, and then I heard her singing the first two lines of the song. Then about a month went by, she was singing the bridge and the hook. Now she can't stop singing it. <laughs> Snoop Dogg is a father and family man, but it took him a while to get there and leave his gangster lifestyle behind. He glorified that lifestyle in his debut album, Doggy Style, but everything changed when his best friend, Tupac Shakur, was brutally murdered in 1996. With his second album, The Dog Father, which dropped just two months after Tupac died, Snoop was telling his fans he was done with the death row way of doing things. The Dog Father was the album I tried to leave the gangster image behind. But how can you when you're a gangster rapper? So the record was definitely not as hard or not as as gangster as the first record because I had different emotions. My best friend is dead, so Emotionally, it's like I made the right record. Snoop was in a different place in his life. He became a father for the second time when his son Cordell was born in early 1997. Having a baby combined with Tupac's death was a double reality check for Snoop. Time for him to make several huge decisions. The first, marrying the mother of his children, Shantae Taylor. Cordell was born in February, and we got married in June. I've always loved my wife. This just was something that just told me that's who I want to be with for the rest of my life. She got my two sons. She been there for me. Got to be something different that I can do to show her that she means the world to me. So no better way than marriage. The second big step was a career-changing moment for Snoop, leaving Death Row Records for good. With a little push from friend and fellow rapper Mystical, who introduced him to producing powerhouse Master P. Mystical had called me to be on the song for him. And when I got there, Master P was there. Percy Miller, better known as Master P, was one of the kings of Southern rap. And his label, No Limit Records, was the perfect place for Snoop to go and finally break free from Death Row Records. Master P was like, so what you want for doing the mystical song? In my mind, I was thinking like 3,500. He wrote me a check for 35,000. And he went and met with Suge Knight and got my publishing back, gave me some new money and moved me and my family to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, gave me a three album deal and, you know, showed me business. Top fella with the gold flea collar, dipping in my blue Impala. Without Master P's help getting away from Death Row Records, Snoop may have ended up not just broke, but dead. I'm a West Coast guy that was living fast, and I just witnessed Tupac get killed. And if I didn't go to Baton Rouge, I would have been killed because the lifestyle was too fast. And Baton Rouge slowed me down, put me in a different environment, got me to working every day. I was around no limit. A lot of pressure was lifted from him when he left California to go to Baton Rouge. He needed that new environment. And no limit is the label that pays, man. Ride around town, laying gang down like go -dead. No Limit was a game changer for Snoop. Master P introduced him to a whole new side of hip hop, the business. It wouldn't even be no money in rap if it wasn't for No Limit. Master P was the first rapper getting money. He put money in the game, respect in the game, and business. And I thought Tupac was the hardest working man in show business till I met Master P. He was like, we're gonna do a three album deal in three years. Well, Death Row usually take about two and a half years to do one album. And then when I got on No Limit, I was in the studio every day, working on this record, that record, his record. Then I work on my record, and we all looked out for each other. Without y'all, it wouldn't be No Limit. And once we know how to leave that gangster mentality behind, then you can become a business. You can become Jay-Z, Dr. Dre, Master P. After Master P's crash course on how to be a hip-hop mogul, Snoop wanted to get back on the charts. So he met with a proven hit maker. My whole career, I've always been making records where I've been like, I've really been hard on women. So what I did was, I brought in a specialist, somebody who really knew how to make records for the ladies. This next record right here, 
I did it with my homeboy, Pharrell, Skateboard P. Pharrell Williams approached Snoop's music in a whole new way. In the moment they started working together, Snoop realized it would transform him and his sound. Pharrell Williams, that's my brother from another mother. Both of us were fans of each other's work and became friends and started working and making it happen. Snoop and Pharrell would be a collaboration and a friendship that would last to this day. Pharrell saw something in Snoop that no one else had. You give an artist the fun. Thank you. With Pharrell's encouragement, Snoop was heading into brand new musical territory and going way out of his comfort zone. For the first time in his career, Snoop didn't just rap, he actually sang on this record. I wouldn't normally sing in front of people. He would drive that and pull that up out of me. He's a real producer who knows how to produce Snoop Dogg, and he makes me comfortable in the studio. I knew he could sing, but I didn't know his voice was that strong, you know, where he could actually do it the way he was doing it. Pharrell got Snoop back onto the top 10 single charts in 2003 and 2004 for the first time since Doggy Style. Drop It Like It's Hot and Beautiful were both smash hits around the world. When the pimp's in the crib, ma. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop I'm it honored hot. to just be a part of Snoop's history because I think that he's a great artist. I think his life story seems to really show its face a lot in his his, his songs. Got the rollie on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Don and I'm full of best because I got it going on. Only Pharrell could tap into that side of me. We went in and we created a masterpiece. I see what you're working with. Pharrell helped Snoop complete his evolution from gangster rapper into a well-rounded artist. I want to show people that I'm, I got range. Now that he was a changed man, Snoop wanted to give others the opportunity for change. So he went back to his roots and to his other passion, football. This is the story of how I went from nothing to having everything. And then I gave back. Clap it up. P-Town. P-Town. He loves to play football. It's always been a part of his life. When I was young, I had a coach that was on me all season. And even when the season was over, he would pick me up and come work out with me and stay in my head and stay on me. He would come and get him and make sure he was there on time and doing what he had to do. Did everybody get one? Say yes, sir! Did everybody get one? Say yes, sir! Practice tomorrow, no smiles, come ready to play. The Snoop Youth Football League, I started this for the reasons of my son playing in a different football league that just didn't seem to cater to the urban communities and the single parents. It was just the effects of knowing where I came from and how I wanted to give back and put a football program in the community that I came from. L Pro Right, 24 count on one, ready? Hey. 10 years later, we have over 50 kids in Division I college football and over 100 in high school right now. Five kids in the NFL. There are also non-athletes that have made it out of my league that have done great things, like went on to become doctors, lawyers, police officers, firemen, you know, doing things in their communities that defy all odds. I like how you hesitated, but you went back in that hole. Remember, that's where your play is at, right? Good job, way to run. I've never won a Grammy, been nominated 17 times, but the kids that make it out to Snoop Youth Football League is my Grammys. As long as I can keep sending kids to high school and college, that is the number one thrill in my life. Coming up, Snoop invites the world over to his doghouse. It was just a great you know, opportunity for me and my family to show the world that we human. This is what we go through. And goes from dog to lion with a reggae record that's a family affair. To have my daughter sing on the record was so appropriate because it was the transformation that I was going through as a man, as a father, as a husband, as a better person. And Snoop reveals the game-changing moment that helped make him the superstar he is today. This is Snoop Dogg, The Ride.